Today let us learn about update method and rotating of an image from within update method. Please visit previous day tutorial and how we wrote a modular programming using state manager. The link to which is present on your screen right now. So I'll open this index file. Let's have a look at it first. So we have our phaser library linked below that we have main JS and then we have added the main state and we start the state main. Now I'll open up the main state that is main.js file. So we have loaded two images inside preload and we have added that to our game state within create method. Now I'll write the update method. Let us take a variable and point to this image. Let me show you how it looks on the browser first. I'll turn on my node server and navigate to my local host with a port of 3000 which my node server uses by the way. So this is the output. I'll select this image and inside of update method I'll simply increment its rotation value and rotate the image on the browser. So I'll take a variable and reference to this image and by using this variable that is this dot logo dot rotation I'll keep incrementing its rotation value to by 0 0.01 so this keeps on incrementing until this state loses that is this state is shut down so the rotation starts from this point by default that is the left side of the image left top corner of the image we could even change that property by setting its anchor value so i'll use this dot logo dot anchor dot i'll set it to uh, let us rotate it by middle of the image that is 0 0.5 so remember it's now rotating from top left corner now once I refresh, it rotates by center of that image. Well, if you make it 1, the value 1, it will start rotating from right side of that image. I'll refresh now. So it's it starts rotating at right bottom corner of the image. If you set it to zero, which is the default value, by the way, it starts rotating at the top right, top left corner of the image. So this is it. This is how the update method works and the rotation property being incremented as the update method is repeatedly called until the state is active also remember that first the preload method that uh, yeah the preload method is called after the completion of that only after the completion of that the create method is called only after the completion of execution of create method the update method is called also remember uh, a state to be considered as valid it must have any of these three at least one of these three methods that is preload or create or update or any combination of that but not absence of these three methods so this is it for today so stay tuned please share this video with your friends on facebook linkedin twitter stumble upon etc stay subscribed to our youtube channel and to our blog and uh, Please visit the link present in the description section of this YouTube video and please do not forget to like this video on YouTube. Thank you.